Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great night. Tonight, I wanna to go over eight overlooked features that are in Gmail. So these tips will hopefully speed up things for you and just make things a lot more efficient. So have you ever wanted to know if a person has opened up your email? Well, Gmail has this built right into it. What you have to do, let's say you compose your message, just go down to the bottom right hand corner under more options and you can see there's a request uh, read receipt. So make sure that's on. So I'll just click it, make sure the check mark is there so you can see I have it selected. So when you send the receipt now, when they open it, you'll be notified with the receipt back. If you don't have that option or it doesn't work, make sure you check with your G Suite administrator. They might have some, um, might have it turned off for you. An easy way to attach files from your computer, rather than using the attach down here, just go to your files, select them, and drag them over and drop. And they'll simply attach the uh, to your email, ready to send off. So maybe you're getting some emails in a different language. Well, then take advantage of the Gmail translate tool that's built right into it. So in this case, if I view my original message that before I translated, you can see it was in a Spanish one. And I have, if you look at the drop downs, you have a lot of different languages to choose from here that when the message comes in, it can take it and output it to all those same languages. So in this case, if I wanted to view it to English, I can simply click on this one and I can have it set to automatically each time if I knew I was getting a lot of messages in a certain language I could have it defaulting to that so I wouldn't have to click on anything if you're trying to find it if I go to a different message just click on the little more here and you can see that the translate message here will bring it up right across the top and you can translate any of these into a different language if you wish don't forget about customization in the labs. So I have over here on my left hand side this calendar. So this will connect to my Google calendars. I like this because I can just quickly uh, get it at a glance when I'm in my Gmail without going to my calendar and I can add things right away from here from some quick ads. To add this, just simply go up over to your settings up here and I'm gonna go to settings and then make sure you check out labs. Now there's other labs here to check out too that can save you time. Go ahead and play with them, but look for the uh, Google Calendar uh, gadget. Make sure that's enabled and after you enable it, hit the save changes and then it's gonna appear back over here. Uh, if it's not there, it'll be uh, hidden under the gadgets. So just simply click those three little dots and it's gonna pop up right there for you. Priority inbox is a, a way to kind of customize your look of importance of your messages. So what priority inbox is, I'm gonna go back to my settings up here. And once I'm in there, I'm just going to uh, go to my inbox. And you can see I'm under default right now. So I'm gonna click on priority inbox and it's gonna break things into sections. So it's gonna be important and then red first, I have, then it's gonna be my starred and empty, this is empty, then everything else. So if I click on my options, you can see how much you wanna show of each of them here. So you can say, I wanna show, cause you'll have more than five or more than 10. So you pick uh, how many you wanna show. So once you uh, have any of these, have I put in order, go to save. And when I go back, to mine, you can see now all my important unread are gonna be first, and then I have my starred ones, and then I have everything else. So again, you can still customize, the, customize those a bit more just by looking at the, uh, just take a look at the settings of each one. So if you find yourself emailing the same people all the time and you're doing the same message over and over, you might wanna make a group out of this. So just simply go up to the top where it says mail, click on the little arrow, go to contacts. Now you can see I have a number of groups already made in here. So I'm just gonna make a new group right here and I'm gonna call this test one. I'm just gonna hit okay. Then I'm gonna click on test one and I'm just gonna add a couple people really fast to this here. And I'm gonna add one more. So you can, I could keep adding more and more people, but I'm just gonna stick with those two for the example. I'm gonna hit add. So now if I go over to mail and I hit compose and I start typing test one, I'll give it a second here. Test one, there it is. So sometimes it takes a few seconds to click in. And when I click on it, all I have to do is send the message now and it will send to the group. So if you had 10, 15 or a class, you can simply make that group and it's gonna save you a lot of time. Keep your day organized right in Gmail by using task. So again, click right up by the mail here. You can see there's task. 
So when this pops up, you can see I already had a number of different tasks in here, but I can create a new task really uh, quickly just by, I'll type an example. And what I'll do is you can see when I click on the little arrow here, I can type more to it. I can give it a due date, which will be, I can set a notification to this one. I can make list on this one. When it's done, I can check it and it'll be crossed out uh, like this. So if I go back to the list, you can see that it's already crossed out. You can do this real quickly. You can add a message to these lists. So if I had this one, if I just go up to the uh, more up here, you can see I have add to task. So it quickly takes an email, adds it to task. And if I go to it, you can see there's a related email right in here. I can put my due date on it. This is the way I like to use it most uh, because a lot of my messages come through and I just wanna put it to a task right away. Lastly, if you haven't taken a look at Inbox yet, go ahead and just go up. I already have it open, but use inbox.google.com. Uh, Sometimes you'll have the app open to it. I don't have it on this one, but just go ahead and type it in and you'll get to Inbox. So you'll see it's a little different way than Gmail. All my messages are in here, the exact same messages, but it has some different features, way to manage everything. I'll attach a video that I have that breaks down how to use this. Just take a look in the card top in the top right, or just take a look down in my description description and I'll put to a link there. So I hope you like these tips tonight. If you have, please hit that like button, share it with a few other people. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you saw tonight, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.